I just hid a metal hook in my dog's food bowl. When they went to take a bite, I ripped the hook through their mouth, dragged them into the bathroom and drowned them in the bath. What the f*** is wrong with you? Greg Doucette has made a follow-up video once again targeting vegan gains for his unkind ways. And it's safe to say that he's angrier than last time. So much so that he's forgotten to shout throughout the entire video. Well, your son's a just like you. I don't know if there's some form of mental illness that prevents him from understanding what's not appropriate, what's not sensitive, and what you just shouldn't say, but he says it. Well, he did say six years ago when he first came onto the YouTube scene that he is a sociopath, so there is that. Doesn't seem that he can grasp or understand that there's certain things that are just not okay. Holy crap. Your kid's a loser. Yep, well, I'd have to agree with you there. An adult mocking a child is f***ed up. Who knows what kind of effect this could have on the developing mind. Not a good one, that's for damn sure. I'd say this is a pretty childish way for a so-called adult to conduct themselves and is very unfortunate. And for people that have experienced bullying, they're the targets of certain people. You need to forget about what people are saying negative about you and focus on the positive. Great sentiment. Sadly, it's the human condition to focus on the negative. It is not an easy thing to train oneself out of. You could get nine amazing compliments and one put down and I guarantee the vast majority of people will be stewing on that one comment for at least the next week or two. It would be much nicer if we could all have a little bit of thought for others. Well, your son's a just like you. I mean, this is the kind of thing that gives vegans a bad name. Like, imagine this. Do you want to be part of the vegan community if that is the type of thing they stand for? Greg, are you okay with me equating every meat eater to Adolf Hitler? Because that's exactly the type of thing that you're doing here. Why would you think that all vegans are okay with being unkind to children based off of the actions of one self-admitted sociopath? Please do not tar me with his brush. You are out of order. Most vegans have much higher levels of empathy than the average person, which is the reason why we're bloody vegan. But when you start making fun of kids because they go fishing, saying they're torturing animals by going fishing, it's a little extreme. Is it though? I just hid a metal hook in my dog's food bowl. When they went to take a bite, I ripped the hook through their mouth, dragged them into the bathroom and drowned them in the bath. What the f is wrong with you? I'm going fishing the weekend. Oh, that's nice. Will you take the kids? Just because an animal doesn't scream does not mean that you're not terrifying and hurting them. Oftentimes killing them by suffocation, blunt force trauma or decapitation. I would say that that's a little bit more extreme, wouldn't you? that piece of also in his sleep. It doesn't make people want to be associated with vegans when they think that that's the type of thing they're going to say. Why would anyone think that being vegan means that you have to be unkind to others? That's the opposite of what veganism is about. We aim to reduce suffering. Quite honestly, when people are this vicious and derive this much pleasure from being unkind to others, I question their motivation behind being vegan. Sadly, some people just enjoy being unkind to others, but that's not most vegans. It's bad enough when you say that to an adult, but to say this to a kid? I mean, how can anyone think this is appropriate or okay? I couldn't agree more. Also, that whey protein sitting behind you is the product of captivity, forced impregnation, exploitation, and infanticide. How can anyone think that that is okay either, especially when vegan proteins are found to work just as well? His hobbies include yo-yos and yeah, that's about it. All right. Like it gets worse and worse and worse just when you think he knows what he's doing. For example, he said, yeah, calling the kid a that was going too far. But then shortly after, one minute later, he's saying things that are even worse than he just said. Okay, calling his kid a loser for the yo-yo thing was over the top, whatever, but... So it seems like he understands that you can go too far, but he then gets worse. So I don't understand this guy. It, the, he knows the difference between right and wrong, yet continues to choose to do wrong. So honestly, I was thinking there must be something wrong with vegan gains where he doesn't understand the difference between right and wrong. Not everyone does. There are people in this world who were not born with the ability to distinguish between right and wrong. 
Everyone is on a spectrum. People are smarter than others. People get certain things more than others. So I was thinking, for him to make fun of kids this way, he just must not get it, not understand it. But for him to apologize and recognize you shouldn't call a kid a loser for playing with yo-yos, and then a minute later, attacking him even more so, it's basically saying he doesn't care. Yeah, I think that's it. He simply doesn't care. Sociopathy will do that to you. Now, what's your excuse, Greg? You freely admit that a vegan diet can be adequate in all circumstances and even have vegan recipes in your cookbook. But you refuse to speak on the issue of you paying for others to be lined up in a slaughterhouse, watch their friends and family be systematically executed in front of them one by one, knowing that they are next. Do you know right from wrong, Greg? Do you believe, like me, that we have the duty to become more moral than the society that we were brought up in? Or would you rather go back to caveman days where we had free reign to rape and murder each other with no consequences? He just says whatever he wants without any thought to what the meaning behind the words has. Indeed, that's very behaviour. I would point out that words are less painful than a knife in the neck, but I would prefer that people not act in this way. Imagine this is your kid that Vegan Gains is attacking. Your friend, your child, and he's going on about this because your kid likes to fish or play with yo-yos or has different interests than you yourself has. What difference does it make? So when people attack you like this, you need to not listen to them. Focus on the good people. Focus on the good people who say positive things because in your life, there will always be a bully. There will always be people trying to put you down. To farmed animals and sea creatures, we're the bullies. We don't just say spiteful, hurtful words, however. We take it to the ultimate extreme. Confinement, mutilation, exploitation, and killing. Like, it gave him pleasure to hear this. He did. <laughs> and to hear him laugh hysterically, getting pleasure from this, enjoying this. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. It's kind of like this is the guy that would watch a horror movie and literally cheer for the person innocent people. Yep, that's messed up. Also, farmed animals are in a horror movie right now. And it's our fault, though we do have the power to change it at any time. I don't understand how someone can take pleasure in making fun of someone in this way. Me neither. I also can't understand how people can value a trivial sandwich over the very lives of others. It's sickening. I can think of nothing more cruel or selfish. I hope he doesn't represent most vegans. I certainly pray that he doesn't. Don't be stupid. So again, a lot of this had to be bleeped out, deleted, because it was just too harsh, too negative, too much hate. And so had to bleep a lot of it out, but wanted you to get the message. This is what vegan games is like. This is what's wrong with the internet. This is the kind of problems that you can see. People are attacking children or people after they are making fun of their and hoping and wishing upon other people, it's not okay. I completely agree, Greg. Good point. How about this? If Vegan Gains is willing to stop saying such things, would you be willing to stop paying others to needlessly murder animals on your behalf? What do you say? Do you find it so distasteful and unkind that you would be willing to stop being cruel yourself? Or do you criticize Vegan Gains in this way just to discredit him and take the heat off your animal cruelty, which he pointed out? Now click this.